Okay, I want to show you guys the new uh, upgraded planning center service live module for Companion. So I just took uh, some time and upgraded it to the new V3 API. So this is for the new Companion V3 betas um, to help you control your planning center services. So uh, first of all, if you're not familiar with planning center live, um, it's a way just to track where you're at in your service. And that way anybody else who's watching this can just kind of know how things are going, your timings and all that good stuff. So you can do this through the browser uh, and that's just one way to do it. But they also have, Planning Center has a pretty robust API that allows you to control all aspects of their software uh, just through their API. So we've had this module now in Companion for a while. And it was pretty basic. You could uh, advance a plan, go back in a plan. Uh, but now the new version has variables and feedbacks and all that good stuff. So let's just take a check here. Uh, the module here has got, uh, you'll need to set up a personal access token. Um, so if you haven't done this before, you can click this link and it'll just kind of walk you through uh, your Planning Center account to set up a personal access token. Now, you need to make sure when you're logged in, the account, the account you're logged in as is the account that the token is tied to. So if, the, if your account does not have access to control Planning Center Live for the particular plan or service type or even your entire organization, then you need to make sure that that account has those permissions before you get started. So I've got mine set up here. I actually just removed it for this demo so that you guys can't see my application ID and secret key. Uh, but some of the other options here in the module, you can limit uh, your PCO plans that will be returned to maybe a parent folder if you use folders. Uh, or you can even restrict plans to a specific service type, which is what I've done here. So this service type ID is actually um, the service type ID for my uh, service type I've called Auditorium 1. Um, and then I'm limiting it to the next seven plans just so I don't have a huge long list of plans. Uh, to show up in the list. Um, and then down here, new features are for polling. So you can have the module automatically go out and grab the latest set of live data for uh, a certain plan. Uh, and so I've configured this here. I want it to pull every three seconds. And it's going to automatically start pulling the next plan of this specific service type ID. Um, so we've got all that set up here and so let me show you some of the actions that you can do. Um, first of all, these are uh, your previous and next buttons. It works similar to these here if you were controlling it in the browser. And uh, you'll notice I've got a variable here that shows me where I'm at in the service. So these are some of the variables that we've added to uh, this new version of the module. Um, you can see the last controlled plan ID and the name of that plan, as well as the service type ID and the name of that service. Here's my organization name, and then it shows me my plan current item. If that item was a song, it would show you the key. It'll show you the time length, the time amount remaining. And then I added this for time remaining in seconds. This is pretty helpful if you want to run a trigger. And let's say when your item hits 10 seconds left, you want to have a trigger automatically do something in Companion, you can use that variable for that purpose. And then we've got the plan current item time should finish. So if you start something at 11 a.m. and it's supposed to finish at 11.03, you can see that in a variable there, as well as the time the current item was started. Uh, you'll know the current index, where we're at in the plan, out of the total number of items. And then we have similar variables for the next item that's coming up. Uh, and you can see the plan series and the plan title as well. So let me go ahead and start controlling this plan. I'm using the action called go to next item of next plan in selected service type. And the reason I do that is because week to week, I don't want to come in and update this action to pick the next plan in that service type. I just want it to go ahead and control the next plan. So that's just one of the options here. You could choose to add a specific plan. So you could say go to item next item of a specific plan and you could type in your service ID and your plan ID 
These do support variables if you wanted to do that. Or you can even choose uh, from a drop down. You could say, I want to go to next item, and I could choose a plan. And of course, if I used this particular action, I would have to come in every week and update that, and I don't want to have to do that. So that's why I've got this go to next item of next plan and selected service type, which automatically picks. May 28th, but after May 28th comes and goes, it'll automatically pick June 4th, and so on. So that's pretty helpful. So let's go ahead and start controlling that plan. So you can see here, I'm on the start of the service. I'm going to hit test actions just to, you know, virtually press that button. And it started, it shows me it's 30 minutes. It's counting down right here, and I know that I'm on this name of this item. And I can see here that that matches this and that countdown there as well. And so uh, just kind of helps me know this is how much time is left. And then this is the time that that should finish. So I'm going to go ahead and say test actions to go on to the next one. And you can see it's advancing pretty well. This one's actually a song, so it's in the key of D. And this is item 2 of 13 in my plan. So I kind of know at any point where I'm at in that plan. So uh, here's an example. Uh, this is kind of a shorter item, so we can see that it's got a feedback attached to it. Uh, but there is a new feedback called Plan Item Time Overrun. So it will change colors based on if the current item time is overrun. Basically meaning when this hits zero and starts going up because it's gone past one minute and 30 seconds, it'll automatically turn red. So you can see that it would do that here in the interface as well. Um, we're just going to wait here for another 50 or so seconds so we can see that happen. Um, let me take a chance to look at the variables again now that we're advancing through a plan. So you can see uh, some more things are populated here. You can see the seconds counting down there. So this is where you could use a trigger here if you wanted to. Um, and you can just kind of see more things that are coming up in the plan. So uh, the next one is 30 seconds. I guess I could have picked that one and saved ourselves some time here. But let's just wait and see what happens in 20 seconds. All right, so they turned red now because you can see that this item has overrun. So we are now running behind in our plan. You can see that doing it here as well in the browser interface. And so that's just kind of a helpful little bit of information. You can go, oh, my plan has overrun. So I might just need to be wary of what's happening next. But if you guys are like us, you know, these times don't really mean anything. They're just suggestions, and we rarely stick to the actual times. Um, once you go to the next item and the plane is no longer overrunning, then you know, it'll turn back off. So when I advance through my entire plan, you can see I'm on item 7 of 13. Let me just go all the way to the end here. All right, so I got one more item left. And it's going to say we're, we're now at the end of service. And uh, we must have, yeah, we put in a zero length for that, so it immediately overran. I'm going to hit test actions to go one more time. So now I'm at the start of the second service. You can see it wants to run our second time for this plan. So we've got a 9 and 11. Hit test actions and just keep on going. It'll go all the way through and do it again. So this is just the uh, a quick walkthrough of the new Planning Center Services Live upgraded module in Companion. It's out in the betas now if you guys want to go check it out.